We're in a bind now, Amos. What does bind mean? Tight spot. Yeah. We're in trouble. Because you can't turn your truck around anymore. Well, no, because my truck fell off the road. Oh. All right. It seems that I messed up a little bit with my editing. Left you guys hanging. I only exported half the video, and I'm going to have to chalk that up to inexperience with Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I know. There's a little blue line that you have to have at the end of the, the video. Um, left you with a bit of a cliffhanger. And uh, so I'll just talk about that briefly and then, you know, show you some of the footage that came, you know, came from that whole ordeal. But I was uh, backing up. I, I, you could see I just turned the tr truck around up there on the landing and used about every every foot available to me um it's it's so hard to film how how tight it is up here and uh so anyway turn the truck around i started to back down the trail because i wanted to straighten out the trailer and you know back it back the trailer back up onto the landing in order to give me the space i needed to uh to load the trailer up with all the granite and um yeah started down the road was back and back up it was pretty wet it had been raining for a little while at that point and i just couldn't get the traction that i needed to back up back up the hill and uh you, know, you just sometimes you just got to power through those types of situations kind of count on momentum carrying you through so <laughs> I took a pretty good run at it and trailer got up on the steep part of the hill and then the truck just slid off the side. And yeah, so right here is where the event took place. I was backing up the trail right there. These ruts were very greasy. It's, it, you know, they're quite dry right now. I don't think I'd have an, a problem getting up there right now. And, you know, the front of the truck started wiggling around. Oh, and you can see right here, this is where my uh, front tire fell off. And I just, you know, the, the front tire just hooked the, the shoulder there and, and pulled me right over. So, yeah. Truck was dangling over the edge, and I and I couldn't go back anymore, and I couldn't go forward. I was in a pretty, pretty tight spot, like I told Amos, and uh, yeah. So we, I just hooked the excavator up to the trailer, and hoped that it was uh, strong enough to pull, pull the truck out, and it was. Um, you know, kind of inchwormed my way up the hill it, the, that machine has a lot more pulling force with the boom you know in the arm than it does with the uh with the tracks so with the arm pulled the truck back honk the horn amos would step on the brake i'd reset the machine and uh and honk the horn he'd let off the brake and i'd pull the truck up the hill and uh yeah we did that just inchwormed our way up it wasn't wasn't really a big deal um yeah so i'm sorry i left you hanging like that so with all that being said i guess we can get back to the uh, regularly scheduled programming thank you enjoy well this didn't go perfectly i uh it's so greasy right now that I couldn't couldn't back up. My, the truck was just spinning out. And additionally, the back of this this trailer is so low. I, I was starting to push soil, so I took a good run at it and uh, fell off the side of my road. Fortunately, I didn't hit that tree there. And uh, yeah, I mean it's a good thing there's two of us. I'm gonna put a chain on the trailer. And, try to pull it all out 
with the excavator and Amos there, nine years old, he's gonna be driving the truck for the first time. So let's see how this goes. Uh, testing opportunities to achieve different levels of um, DSWA dry stone walling dry stone walling association of Great Britain um, you can you take tests and get certified to different levels there years ago I don't know must have been eight years ago nine, I don't know, a long time ago I took a, I took a workshop from them down in Dummerston Vermont and you know it was immensely helpful you know really helped me uh, learn how to work with a field stone traditionally all the all the walls I've built have been built with uh, quarried wall stone you know from a lot of it was from Quimby Mountain you know it's, it's a quarried blasted ledge very uh, rectangular stone field stone was always really tricky for me and so I took a you know it was a weekend could have even been just a day-long workshop that I took with the uh, with the stone trust and it you know it just really up my game significantly um, yeah so you know I'm I'm really I think it's a wonderful organization and I you know I, I like what they do and, and uh, um, so I'm glad to donate this stone I think there'll be three loads of granite that I need to bring down to Antrim in order for them to do what they need to do uh yeah I'm you know I'm glad to to donate the stone because I su you know I support the stone trust I think they they do a lot to promote the craft here in the United States by offering really vetted high quality information I also really appreciate how accessible it is you know um anybody can take anybody can take a workshop and it looks like according to their instagram page and their website they're having uh a medley workshop offering this fall in uh, mount mont vernon new hampshire um where they'll touch on a number of different aspects of of dry stone walling and, and masonry construction and you're, if you're even remotely interested in learning about about stone i highly suggest attending one of these workshops money well spent and you know if you're a masonry professional too definitely worthwhile make you way more productive waller um yeah so it's a great organization you should check them out just google uh, the stone trust or you could find them on instagram you know i like to keep track of what they're doing on instagram and uh yeah you should you should go you should look into that